Going to be perfectly honest there, Don. That's a no from me, and I'm out. Alrighty then. Test, test, test. Good, 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 good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good afternoon. Well, wait a second. There we go. Yeah, boy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm wearing the same t-shirt. My name is The Reckonist. Welcome to Football Manager 2021 and uh, well, part two of the Euros. I'm doing all the Euros or as many as I can during the Euros. Last night was the first one, the Turkish one. I recommend you go back and watch that because I watched the first hour of that and I absolutely nailed, nailed every important decision. I nailed it. I nailed that game. That was almost the perfect game of Football Manager. Almost perfect. Uh, the only thing I didn't account for was Miles hacking into my game and pressing the cheat button to stop me from winning this tournament, having lost 1-0 in the final to Kylian Mbappe. Yes, uh, but we did really well, and uh, I'm very keen to see how we get on with Italy today, so thank you for joining me. Uh, Mr. Callan, thank you for the sub straight away. I really appreciate that. So if you're new to the what I do on this uh, in the Euros, if I win a European Championship with the European Championship database, which I got from uh, Passion for FM, there's a link down below in the chat. Um, if I win Euros and you're a subscriber, you get your name entered into a pot for a draw for how many wins I get copies of FM22. If you're a patron, your name's already in that, but depending on what rank, more chances of winning if you're higher up, etc. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it, I think. We'll do it all at the end, and uh, I will contact whomever wins it. That includes gift subs as well. If you uh, are gifted a gift sub like so many people were last night, so I really appreciate that. Um, yeah. And that's what we're going to do. So today, uh, as I tried to do yesterday, but we got way further <laughs> than I anticipated uh, with Turkey last night, of course. Um, we're going to go with Italy, who just demolished Turkey in real life. Um, who, honestly, Turkey set up exactly the same as me. 90% of the team was exactly the same as what I would have picked. And they played exactly the same, but they, they just got too tired, I think. Turkey's, Turkish legs got tired. Um... So, rest in peace, my Turkish brethren. Mr. Erdogan, I await your call. Sorry, President Erdogan. Um, but that, that was yesterday. This is today. Italy. Viva Italia. We're going to take over, obviously, a better looking man than Roberto Mancini. Um, we are. So, we're going to go ahead and take over Italy and see what we can do. Highest world ranking is one. Okay, currently ranked 10th in the world. Wow, okay. I suppose they didn't end up in the last World Cup, did they? Might be why. Uh, yeah. Good. Cool. Right. Well, that's what the game says. Pellegrini is there. Jorginho. Verratti didn't make it today. Bastone, who didn't play today. Spinaz Zola did. I don't know who played right back for Italy today. I don't think Bastoni played, did he? It was Bonucci and Chiellini. Anyway, that's pretty much the team. Not much else we can do about that. Um, the Italy team pretty much picks itself. I'm expected to reach the semi-final. Fair enough. And um, we'll go ahead and do that. So I'll just retire the other Reckonist, the Imposter Reckonist. Retire. I'll also pop this uh, save game on the um, Patreon page. I'll do it after tonight's stream. So if anyone wants the actual file to save you sorting things out, it'll be on there. Right. Uh, Spinazzola played right back. Well, who played left back then? I saw Spinazzola. I thought it was left back I saw him. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, right. Okay, so Italy. Beautiful, beautiful men of Italy. Right, okay, star players. Immobile, Bonucci, Chiellini, Donnarumma, Acerbi, and in tiny... In <laughs> Have you seen all the memes already? The memes of the car, the Volkswagen car and the ball, and it's just the Insignis. It's just people have photoshopped Insignia in it already. <laughs> it's already happened. This was like an hour ago. It happened, it happened an hour and a half ago. If you can find a goal scorer, Italy can win the Euros. Oh, it's not about scoring goals. It's about scoring more goals than the other people score against you. 
That's the key. That's the key to winning football matches. Scoring more opponents. Score more goals than your opponents. Revolutionary. Comes back around. That's it. Anyway, yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. I am fired up. I've already had two cans of definitely not Red Bull. It's Red Thunder. This is the third. I'm a little bit wired. I'm a little bit hot and dehydrated. So... Yeah, here I am. All right, let's get to it. So, what we got? We got Donnarumma Cragno. I don't know much about you, Mr. Cagliari. So, he's from Calgary. Um, and Galini, yes, we know Galini. Atalanta. A Serbi. Is a Serbi in the Italy squad? Hmm. Well, you, you know, he's Lazio guy through and through. Romagnoli, I don't know if he made it either. They've got so many good players. I honestly don't know who made it and who didn't. Gianluca Mancini. Wait a second. No relation. Whoa, Chris Wallins is his favorite personnel. Interesting. All right. Um, that's somewhat it is. Golazo? What do you mean, Golazo? Oh, you're just doing a goal. You want, you want a goal lasso, do you, Matt? Well, you get one, because you asked. There you go. All right, there's Emerson. Well, I'm going to be going into the... Oof. All right. How am I doing? I'm doing all right, Ilbons. How are you? I'm actually genuinely surprised about how well I did last night. Watching back, I just made so many great decisions. I was like, fucking hell, I nailed that. The assessment of the squad and the tactics I applied were perfect, so we'll see what we can do here. Right, anyway, first things first. Hello, I am the Italian manager. Let's do a little squad comparison to the rest of the teams in the European Championship. We have the best leadership. Not surprised. We've got a couple of 50-year-olds at centre-half. They've probably seen some shit. Benucci's not listed in there. I can bring him in. It's not a problem if we need to, unless he's injured. I can get away without one of the Chiellini or Benucci. Uh, okay, we got goalkeeper-wise. We've got... Well, let's take those out. Goalkeepers were above average over the three we've got in there. Um, Donnarumma's probably the best goalkeeper in the game. I mean, you know, probably. It's right up there, isn't it? Uh, all right, defenders. Let's just have a look as a collective. Best tacklers in, the, in Europe. Collectively. That includes the strikers, though. The strikers take us over the edge. Weird. Okay. 12.79. We've got the best tackling strikers then, effectively. Wait. Oh, no. Weird. That's weird. Okay, well, we're up there. Uh, midfield. Good all-around midfielders. Best at tackling again. Attackers. Collectively. Smartest, I think. Close enough, probably. Movement. Long shots, anticipation, terrible in the air, so no, no high crosses. Get the old pad out again. Sorry. Where's the pad? There we go. Meh. Oopsie daisy. All right. Low cross. Arrgh. Sorry. All right. So low cross, poor headers in general. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Take keepers off. See what we got. Okay. Nope. Good. Woo. Okay. Right. Collectively, bravest, most determined. Okay. We've got actual leaders and warriors in the squad. I quite like that. Take the keepers out. It goes even higher. Highest aggression, bravery, determination, and leadership. High aggression and bravery. That probably means... Hard tackling. We can probably get away with it. Because we've got good tacklers. And we've got brave guys as well. So, kind of helps. Uh, Technique-wise, best tacklers, as I say. Right, great. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's go back over. Uh, ignore that. All positions besides goalkeeper. Aggression is highest. What about marking? How are we for marking? Uh, no, defense, sorry. Defense... Marking, sixth best, including midfielders, 
fifth best, including strikers. Fifth best, okay. Mm, question mark on mark, tight marking. Question mark on tight marking. Okay, goalkeeper, just double check. Kicking is above average. 11th. Throwing second. All right. Oh, no, that's command of area. Throwing ninth. Okay. Honestly, we're so strong all over the place. His first touch all over the place. Fourth best first touch. That'll be Germany and Spain in front of us, I suspect. Second best passes. Third best markers. Yeah, okay. We're strong all around. But I need to make sure that Decision makers, seventh. Ooh, no long throws? Don't think so. There's not there's not much jumping out. We're super strong in pretty much everything. The only thing we are weak at is aerially in, in attack. That's about it. I mean, that's obvious. Everything else is above average. I can probably make it work. I can make pretty much everything work there. Yeah, the best way to beat Italy will be high, like, float crosses, target man stuff. But good luck getting a target man that'll, uh... Yeah. Oh, you can put a link in there, doggers, if you want. I don't mind that. Alright, okay, so, Italy. What do you reckon, fellows? I don't have an assistant, by the looks of things. I do. I have a region assistant. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Who do we go for, then? All right, hang on. I'm going to have to check everybody else now. Spinelli. No, there we go. Nope. These are all guys I recognize. I'm not going to change any of that. Who would be interested in the assistant manager's job of Italy a month before the European Championships? Let's find out. Also, you have to be Italian. I'm sorry. We're going to have to do that. All right. Esposito. Let's go world rank, world reputation. Peruzzi. You're not actually a bad assistant, to be honest. He's not a bad assistant. I want to know where Tassotti is. Tassotti's my boy. Me and Tassotti go back. We have history. Barzagli? Jesus Christ. He only, st he only stopped playing recently, didn't he? 18, 19. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, where is... Uh, Jabbers, thank you for the sub, mate. I appreciate that. Welcome. Um, what am I doing? Um, where is it? Where is it? What is it? Um, Tassotti. Is it double T? Now, Maro Tassotti, assistant manager of Ukraine. Can I pull him away from the Ukraine billions? He's my favorite because of that. He's always got great tactical knowledge. Uh, I thought it was more of a 4-3-3. Faris, probably a good one as well, John. Uh, John, oh, that's a good shout. But I think I just want to go for... I think I'm just going to go. If he's interested, I'll try and take him. You already have somebody employed in this position. What? I thought I removed him. I have to wait a day. Ugh. Oh. Uh, assistant manager has left Italy after the two parties exchanged the contract. Good. So, no assistant. Go back. Offered Italy job. Yes. So, there's no contract negotiations. I don't do that because it's Italian. It's because the FA do it. Um, so, we'll come back to that. Okay, Google, stop. Okay. Control possession seems like a fair way of doing things, and an alternate vertical tiki-taka also seems like a fair way of doing things. Don't know about actual tiki-taka, but let's check uh, national pool. See who's in here that shouldn't be. What the hell? Oh, Italy B. Sorry, wrong, wrong screen. There we go. Barella, get in there, because when the sun shines, we shine together. Make sure you, in the Italian squad is Niccolo Barella. Moise Keen. Moise Keen. If you want a pressing forward, he'll do you a job. Maybe. Locatelli. 
Ugh, they're all so good. They're all so good and all so well rounded. I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna put I'm gonna put loads of people in the squad to start with. Everyone I fancy. Yes, Bellotti's gotta be in there. I'll probably end up with a single striker, so Immobile one, Bellotti two. Oh my god. Orsolini. Cutrone. Where's that where's Fiorentina's guy? Oh, Castro, there he is. Gaetano Castro, yeah, he's a proper... Yeah, his crossing's 10, so you don't want him on the flanks, but... Yeah, he's in there. Gagliardini, Ruggiani, Bernadeschi. Oh, my God. Where a pick. Where do you start with this? There's Benucci. Kevin Lasagna. Oh, that's just typical. That's like being called John Spaghetti. <laughs> Oh, dear. Okay. I don't know where to start. Oh, Pellegrini needs to be... Oh, no, that's not the same Pellegrini. It is the same Pellegrini. Yeah, it is. Oh, he's on loan. Okay. Well, you got to bring lasagna with you. Yeah, you don't want to try any foreign food while you're in Italy. Most of the time. I don't know where... There's so many. I just... I just, Daniel Maldini. Pellegri's there as well. Yeah, I just... Okay, pretty much everybody else. Quadraglia. <laughs> Quadraglia. <laughs> Quattro Formaggio. All right. Buffon on the bench. Good point. Well presented. I didn't think about Mr. Buffon. Is he even in the setup? Is he even here? He's not even here. Is he retired officially? That's a national pool. And... Oh, no. Oh, I can only have three keepers, can't I? So... That'd be why he's not there. But these guys played all season. Um, all right, well, let's do bit by bit. Tell you what, what I'll do is I will remove... Wait, can I remove everyone from the Italian squad without pissing everybody off? That's a question. <laughs> remove from national... I just want a clean slate. Is that possible? Okay, I'm going to take a big risk here. I might have to restart. Okay, that's fine. All right, clean slate. Goalkeepers. Okay, goalkeepers, and we'll do uh, rec squad view. Right, okay. Last five games are the inform, the average rate in. Okay, who's played the most? Donnarumma absolutely needs to be there. Galini. Yep, <laughs> absolutely needs to be there. Did Buffon even play? He played not many games. Uh, right. Sorry. Shall we take Buffon? I mean, yeah, it's, it's right. It's the right thing to do, isn't it? Wait, why can't I call him up? Has he actually retired? Retired from international football. Asked to reconsider. Reconsider international retirement. He rejects it. Well, that settled it for us then. Done. Right, okay. Well, uh, well, if Buffon's out of the national pool. Removed from the pool. Too many people in the pool. All right, well, who do you reckon for the other goalkeeper? Because... Sirigu. Audero. <clears throat> Audero. If you have big occasions and... Yeah, you do. Okay, perfect. Well, we'll bring you them. 
Perrin. Eccentricity 17, reflexes 17. If I remember rightly, yeah, he's got big, he dreads big matches, I remember. Several times I've considered getting him. Each time I've gone, oh, whoops. Okay. All right, that's three keepers. Pretty self-explanatory. Right, let's go. Right, can we going to decide on a system? I think control possession 4-3-3 or 4. Yeah, we can flick between those two and maybe even a 5, but we'll start off with that. I don't like 4-2-3-1 though, so we're going for <laughs> we're doing that. I don't like 4-2-3-1, so we're gonna do, I'm going to do that. All right, okay. Let's just get, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, defenders. Oh, that's B team. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Left. Defender left. All right. Can I just put value in there as well? It's usually a good indication in case. All right. Di Lorenzo, been playing at Napoli. He's played a lot of games. He's done well. Three man of the matches, so one in ten is a man of the match. We've got a lot of decent wide players, Antichrist, because, well, we got Freddie Church on one side. <laughs> See what else we can... Well, Insignia has been playing as well, right? Danny California. I like. I like Danny California, especially because he's nice and versatile. Okay, yeah, so... Calabri... Matteo Damian. How has he been doing? Dives into tackles. That works well with our probable hard tackling focus. Plays one twos. Hard tackles. One twos is good for possession football if we're doing controlled possession. Cuts inside from both wings. He's right footed. Brings ball out of defense. Less a fan of that, but uh, big matches and consistent. So, yep. Why did you bring uh, Giovanni Di Lorenzo into the squad? Well, he was valued the most highly on the market. <laughs> Spinazzola. There we go. He's been playing left back. Consistent. No big matches listed. Interesting. Emerson. On loan at Southampton from Chelsea and he's barely played. Sorry, mate. Big match is consistent. Fiorentina, 26. Cristiano. I always, I never, I never remember how to pronounce that. That guy. De Siglio still alive. He is. He's only 28. <laughs> He's been at Leon. And he is a natural on both sides as well. Model professional, but he is injury plone. plone. Injury plone. Braggy. Biragi. Matteo Damian, how have you been doing? He is, well, he's played 13, but he has played for Conte's champions. Well, I assume champions. Luca Pellegrini, a nice young, nice young supple lad. Got wonderful hamstrings. Consistency, big matches. Uh, I don't think he's got any, like, Champions League experience. He's not been capped yet. That's a fair left back, isn't it? I mean, yeah. That's a fair left back. I don't need three for every position, though. Come on. Okay, we'll come back to that if we need to. Right-sided. All right, the same people. Uh, <laughs> Lazari, right. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Contracted to Lazio. Uh, Lazar. E. Uh, Fiorenze at PSG. Davide Santon for the meme. He was such a meme when he was like 16 at Inter. He was like the hot prospect right back. He was the start of the, the new breed of, you know, pacey wingbacks. Yep. The Ambrosio, 32. Only got three caps, the Ambrosio. Wow. That's quite interesting. Uh, right. Last five games. Average rating. Who's been playing the best at right back? Florenzi. 
but he's been playing in a Mickey Mouse League. Sorry, French fans. Barbieri. Oh, for under 23s? Really? Okay. Model professional, but injury prone. I don't know. Who else is the right back, do you think? Well, actually, Calabria. All right, we'll come back to that if we need to again. All right, center backs. We've got a lot to choose from. Highest average rating, Benucci. How many has he played? Uh, enough. Consistent, big matches, intelligent. I mean, if you wouldn't play a deep line, perfect. Probably even get away with playing a high line. Uh, yep. A Serbi, absolutely. Love a Serbi. Bastoni. Yep. Absolutely. And Chiellini, though there's four. Done it. Next. Oops. Yep, four done. Rest can... Sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to keep waiting until those two retire before you can even get a sniff in. All right, let's go for a defensive midfielder. All right, Verratti. Esposito is playing for Spal and done pretty well. 23 appearances, 6 goals, 3 man of the matches. Wow, that's quite a lot in a short amount of games. 7.46 average rating in Serie A. Playing for Spal. Consistency, no big matches, very determined and driven. Quite good. Okay, we'll come back to that. Locatelli, absolutely. Consistent, big matches, leader. 16, 16. He's got all... Locatelli, I think. He's still... He's got three years more development on him. So, Locatelli for me. Uh, that's two defensive midfielders, I guess. Oh, Jorginho, of course. Where is he? There he is. Apparently, he's been, like, performing incredibly well for Mancini over those, like, 20-odd games they've been unbeaten. Anyway, uh, Jorginho. All right, uh, midfielder center. All right, Esposito, Barella. Yes, you can come in. Barella. Zanonio, absolutely. Actually, how does Zanonio look? Good enough. <laughs> No, no big occasions, but uh, yeah, we can still use that, especially for a squad. You know, I think he's done enough. I keep going back and going, yeah, why not? All right, there's got to be some old types that are missing down here. Sandro Tonali uh, played 11 and 17 sub appearances. He didn't really shine. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder if he'll go the way of Davide Santon. <laughs> I wonder. All right. Uh, am I missing anybody from center midfielders for Zanonio Florenzi? Florenzi, yeah. Oh, Pellegrini, the. And Cristante. Slow. Dictates tempo. That's going to be very important if we're controlling. Big matches as well, but no consistency. I'm less bothered by that, actually, for this. Yep. You can get in there as well. How you doing, Rainstorm? You all right? Kefren Turam, wow. It's 20, Jesus. All right, I'm happy with that. Wide right. Attacking midfield, the right. <sighs> did he make it? The, is he injured or something, or did he not make the cut? As always, I'm less impressed by him. 
He seems overrated to me. Orsolini played 36, scored 8, 10 assists and 6 man of the matches. One every six games. For Bologna. Berardi's got his long shot and his left footed, if I'm right. If I'm correct, yes, there we go. I think I'll bring him in because we all know I like a left footer. Freddie Church. Loan from Inter, joining Napoli. Okay, so he's been at Napoli. Resolute, big occasions, good corner taker. That can be handy. Well, let's stick him in the first. Let's stick him in the national. Yeah, you know what I mean. Stick him in there. That Manolo Gabbiadini. Where'd he go? Sampdoria. Didn't you go back to? S S oh no. He went back to Sampdoria. Handy. All right. Uh, left side. Insigni, 163 centimeters high. <laughs> oh boy. Call up to the Italy squad. El Sharawi. Esposito. Bernadeschi. Barely played. He'll be out of form. Alright, El Sharawi. You get a you get a call. All right, and strikers. So we're going to probably stay one striker. Oh, no, we'll do attack midfield the center. There's got to be someone I'm missing. Um, shit. Castroville, Yes, that's the guy. 35, scored four, assist four, two man of the matches. Dribbling big, ma uh, big matches. Technical player. Gaetano Castrovile. Uses outside of the foot. Technique 16. Good. But midfield, the center primarily. Hmm. Yep, you can come with us as well. Am I missing something? I got Zanonio, right? Oh, so, sorry. <clears throat> Zaniolo. Yep. Skill consistency, very determined squad. He's trying to make his score a header. Yes, I should. All right, where's De Rossi? <laughs> All right. When the sun shine, we'll shine together. Soriano's proper grafter. He's not good at any one particular place. Oh, Liam, that's too hard. You're not getting a you're not getting a klaxon for that. No, Liam, you're trying too hard there. It's got to be easier. All right, anyone I'm missing here? Oh, Stefano Sensi. He's bail. Oh, he's, he's been coming on as a sub for a long time, but he's not done well when he's been on as a sub. And he's injury prone. Big matches. Cultured midfielder. I have plenty of those types of players. Thank you very much. And this is probably Politano, mate. Oh, it's already there. Alright, any particularly good youngsters? Eddie Salcedo. Not quite there yet, mate, are you? Daniel Maldini. Capped at under 20 level. Yeah. Alright, I think that'll have to do. And... Finally, strikers. Immobile. Bellotti. Could get a different type of striker. Um, Simeone Zaza on penalties again. I mean, Moisey, how's he been doing in League uh? He's been doing moderate. 
And he's not stood out, but for our... He's not got uh, oh, finishing... Mm, he's not got good enough. You know, sometimes you just need a bit of aggression. Someone to smack it. Shoots with power as well, Per. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he can come along. He can come to the training camp. And... What about Pietro Pellegri? He's the R Roberto Bottega, potentially. Pavoletti still have 20 heading. Pavoletti? He certainly does. That's a different type of threat, isn't it? Thank you very much. Who suggested that? Liam. Played 19, scored 10. Oh, no, started 19, scored 10. One every other when he starts. Not that great. One cap, one goal. 100% record. <laughs> Calgary player. Graziano Pele. What about... Yeah. That's something different, isn't it? Fabio. Okay. Quagliarella. When the sun shines, we'll shine together. Fabio Quagliarella. That's something else. That's something special. Yeah. He comes. He comes. He comes. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, did I bring him up? Sorry, my phone just went then. Go. That's the jo yeah, the Joker in the pack. Remember when Mattia Destro was the, the hottest young poacher for Inter Milan? <laughs> did he even he didn't even start for Inter, did he? God. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Lapadula cannot still be classed as Italian, can he? Two cats, one goal. Yeah. He went to Peru. Damn, if he only knew. If he only knew I was going to become manager. All right. Well, that will do. That is a good start. I'm going to have to do some cuts. Your cut, your cut. One, two, three, four. Might need an extra defender or somebody who can sort of cover defense, maybe. But, right, okay. Here we go. So... Well, control possession, it's not as useful as it was on this game. I did notice how keen our midfielders are, though. They were, like, really hard-working... Actually, one, two, three. Oh, I've got an idea, actually. Oh, yeah, we're testing the uh, Nagelsmann thing on Patreon. And I'm having great results with it. Um, I got This will definitely be one of our options. Um, yeah, so basically I've uh, been working on the essence of Nagelsmann, like a flipping, like a cologne. Oh. Bastoni's left footed, right? Yes, there we go. So that means we can put Chiellini as a sweeper, effectively, yep. Yeah. Complete wing back right, Freddy Chiesa or Di Lorenzo, whichever one's the most physically... Demanding and hardworking. There you go. Chiesa, left side. Oh, Calabria's right-footed. Di Lorenzo is right-footed. Okay, left complete wing back, perhaps. Is it as good as your strike loss? I think it's better, mate. Honestly, I've been smashing leagues apart with this thing. I've been even shalking to the Champions League in season one. Uh, Locatelli. Hang on, I need slightly more. There we go. Dictates tempo, comes deep, and he's a good passer. Locatelli, Barella. Yeah, you can go in the middle. Uh, box to box. Oh, we got Verratti. Barella. All right. Barella, Verratti. Now we've got two strikers. Don't know about whether or not... Ooh, advance forward. The great thing about this is I've already got set pieces ready. <laughs> Everything's all ready. Not sure what to do with you, though. Actually, you might as well just use... 
quadraglio and whatever <laughs> quad quad bike boy hmm Jorginho is here. We might even end up having him there. In fact, that's what the AI suggests. Comes the, it's, it's exactly. It's, in fact, he's a better passer, but his marking's not as good. He kind of needs help. Yeah, but he's finding the right players. I don't know. Uh, Bellotti. I mean, that works. Bellotti's more selfless. Try it. It's a bit. We can try it. That's one. All right, we got one there. I just need a decent wing back on the left side, so we can just have a quick find, a quick look for that. Whoever's in the. Oh. Well, there we go. Oh no, he's already there. Okay. Do we not have what Emerson? I don't have anyone who's natural on that. Oh, Pellegrini. Perfect. All right. I want you an excuse to take him. There it is. Oh, he's already there. Is he? No. Removed from national pool. Call to at least B. Do I have too many people up here now? Well, you can get out then if that's the case. Yeah, I had too many. All right. Yep, Pellegrini is what he's saying as well. Whoever that is, because I just sacked that you stupid assistant. So this is the Angelino. Not quite Angelino, but he'll do. Big match is consistent. He's not been capped internationally. That might be an issue, but Jorginho, I don't like the fact that you've not got very many defensive stats, but you're not much better. Uh, Jorginho is more experienced. Benucci, are you faster than Chiellini? Yes. Bastone. Yep, okay. Donnarumma. Yep, fine. Freddy Chiesa gets forward whenever possible. Knocks ball past opponents. Shoots with power. Hugs line, runs with ball often. Perfect, complete wing back. I love the way that that's sort of like he's accomplished at that. Uh, Pellegrini again, sorry. Knocks ball past opponents. One, twos. Marks opponent tightly. Markings 12. Okay. That could be detrimental to you. Barella, get forward whenever possible. Moves into channels. Runs with ball often. Dives into tackles. Yep. And Verratti slash um, other one. Uh, Zan Zaniolo. Zaniolo is slightly more advanced, but he can do a job there. Yep. Yep. Verratti there. I mean, I'm happy with that. The hell's just happened then? Oh, there we go. Right. Okay. So that is a is a strategy. Right. Okay. So let's talk this. Let's talk through this. This is Nagelsmann. So if for the last, last two years I've been sort of of the thousands of tactics I work on until I get bored. I've been working on the Nagelsmann one, but then he moved to Leipzig, and then he sort of changed a little bit, and then again, uh, now he's moved to Bayern, so I thought I'd just do it again, and I've sort of been looking at articles, and reading the things, and this is what I've come up with here. He likes... I'll tell you what, I'll read the cliff notes from the Patreon thing. Yeah, the file's available on Patreon if you want to uh, go ahead and <laughs> pledge to get access to that. That's absolutely fine. Support the channel and all that stuff. Such as John O'Martin. Thank you very much. That's just happened now. I appreciate that, mate. Right. Um, tactics. That's me. My posts. Published. All right. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Nagelsmann at Leipzig. 3-1-4-2. Work in progress. Yes. It was a work in progress because it used to be a flat four. Because it can be a flat four. So what does he like? Major points. TLDR. Uh, he likes the press, obviously. 
Uh, extremely fit players who are good at pressing, uh, especially wing backs or wide midfield area. Think Cafu, so kind of Cafus. Keeper has great distribution, but doesn't trigger counter-attacks. He doesn't actually effectively trigger a counter-attack. There's no go, 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 now, 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 now. He just goes, if a counter-attack comes, it comes naturally, basically. So he focuses everything on the counter-press. And to help that, he plays extremely narrow offensively. So when they lose the ball, they're all really close together and can go bang like that. So that really helps uh, reclaim the ball in high positions. He likes the centre-backs to play passes which bypass the centre midfielders diagonally, hopefully, for a hold-up play for an on-rushing midfielder or a layoff to the other one. So ideally, one of these two should have plays with back to goal. I don't think they do. I think they both like to beat the offside trap. That could be an issue. That's interesting to remember. Um... Doesn't seek to counterattack. Likes more patient build-up at Leipzig than at um, Ho Hoffenheim, wherever it was before. Uh, they're especially like, uh, uh, oh yeah, final third entry is patient, but he does prefer to go on the left, and that's why um, Angelino is his primary attacking wingback to kind of emphasize the fact that he goes down the left a little bit more. Um, then it goes on to specific players. Stack as much stamina, work rate, acceleration, pace, teamwork as possible in all areas at all times. Sabitzer. I didn't know how what to do with Sabitza, so I've literally put him as a box-to-box -box on that side. Uh, quick short throws. Slight reduced trigger points. Okay, yeah, transitions. Uh, sorry. Um, out of possession. Normally, it would be higher or much higher defensive line. I have put a standard um, line. I pulled it back one tick to sort of compress the area uh, in between the strikers and the center midfielders because there's nobody in this whole space there. So I brought back um, the strikers to try and help fill in that role there. It doesn't work perfectly, but it works a lot better than if it was like normal or higher up because there's so much space there. Creative players can ping balls out wide. And that's it. That is a very early sketchy thing of where we are. I need more people to test it, really. So there we go. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. High press, but... Um, when we don't have the ball, it's high press. High press, high press. But when we do have the ball, it's nice, patient build up through the middle where we've stacked players and kept it compact so we can focus on just the counter press and not mental counter press and counter, which pisses me off because it's OP as hell. Make sense? Any questions? Good. Right. Um, so there, there we go. I'll tell you what, we'll do it. We'll, do, we'll just do this. This is our focus then. This will be our focus. Uh, did I put any opposition instructions on this? No, there are two versions of this. I can't remember what the differences are right now. But um, that's number two, so apparently this is the one that I did second. Um, for whatever reason, it's a development. <laughs> whatever I do. So Sotty declines it, Lily Roll. No! Okay, I need a assistant then. Who do you suggest? Any more assistant suggestions? Wait, how do I fucking... There we go, staff search. Mm -mm -mm. Gattuso's not interested. He's not there. Peruzzi's interested, though. Cabio Fapello. Yap Stam. I mean, I've, I've literally put it as Italians only, but I can, I can get rid of that. Charisma? Not that one. Oh. Faris is a good one. Faris was... Uh, oh, no. Wait, wasn't Faris... Yeah, okay. Continental Pro. Oh, he's perfect. 17, 17, 17. The perfect assistant. Man, man management's a little... Wolfgang Rolf? No, we're not having that mullet around. Beautiful, stylish team like us. Palombo. He had a bit of a reputation. Um, I mean, yeah, let's... Andy Crosby. Professor Necker. I hardly know her. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, all right, all right. Sammy Herpia. All right, well. All right, all right, all right. Okay. I mean... Yeah, let's just go with Faris. 
It doesn't quite fit us, though. But does that even matter? No, I just want tactical knowledge, so we'll just go for him. You want to become Italy assistant manager? I don't know if that means he leaves Lazio. I'm not sure about that. Oh, great. Friendly, Germany. Hey, Faris is accepted. Right, okay. So let us just go on to... This is something I don't think I did the other day. Uh, backroom staff are rain friendly. Leads friendly matches for Italy. No, me. Team talks, touch lines. I do all that. Yes, you guys do all that. Tactics. Team selection. Faris. Opposition instructions. You can do that, but I will obviously look at him. Team selection advice. Faris. Opposition instructions for... Oh, it's for B. Oh, there won't be any Bs. Media. Uh, attends broadcast reviews. Me. Scouting. Oh, I don't care. Whoever. All right, well, there's no training and stuff, so I don't need to worry about that. So, good. All right. Everyone seems pretty happy there, but there won't be when the cuts happen. We've got two weeks of clicking through, but we've got a week until... Literally, okay, the difficulty in this challenge is the familiarity. Um, taking over before a major international tournament is obviously a problem. <laughs> That's the most difficult part of these challenges. It's the familiarity issue with you, the per the, the manager. Um, so yeah, you're not encouraged to answer questions on the new job. Okay, I've never noticed that before. Hello. There's a lot of pressure. National managers hit the ground running, produce results in the off. Are you confident that you're able to get a good start manager of Italy? No comment. <laughs> Pressures of management at international level are enormous and reflected by huge media interests. Are you up to it? No comment. Many people believe that English manager could never be as effective at managing Italy. Um, I'm going to smile warmly. Gonna go, <laughs> Let's disarm the entire room together, shall we? I do think homegrown nationalism feel a country outside may not have. It seems to carry some importance to the fans and the media. I don't think it's appropriate to discuss that at this stage. <laughs> Your playing career was a huge success. I know. I uh, once played against Morecambe Reserves. Uh, management challenge, do you ever experience a transition at all? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. You've taken this job without being able to speak Italian. Uh, nah, I'm gonna smile warmly. Don't have any, it's, a, it's a universal language. Football's a universal language. But led to believe you're quite heavily focused on the integration of younger talent. If you're old enough, you're good enough. Wait. You know what I mean. Gianluigi Donnarumma is regarded to be a key figure. Absolutely. A wonderful talent. It's been suggested you will be selecting your squads based more on player reputation than performance. I will select those who deserve to play. Correct. While some managers are famous for their hands-on approach, uh, I think those were... Yep. Yeah. Will you be looking to change the captain or allow... I Absolute... Total faith in Giorgio. In the modern era, players put under greater demands by the sheer number of matches. Uh, of course, clubs are going to be concerned about their players and that's something I'll have to work with. Oh, thanks. A wonderful talent with a wonderful agent from his point of view. Renault is an absolute brilliant agent. If he's your agent. <laughs> if, he, if he's trying to get a deal with your club, he's an absolute asshole. But because he's... Because he's your... You know, if he's your agent, he's fantastic. Oh, I'm gone. Sorry. Ooh, a friend wants to come and hang out. I don't think she knows. My wife's away and that might look suspicious. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right. All right. <laughs> I just let her know. <laughs> sorry. All right. Okay. Still a wonderful talent with a dick of it. Yes. Sorry. Italy point records manager. Let's go. Galini doubt for European Championship. Yep. Okay. Let's move it, move it on up. I was showing her how to get good penetration. She didn't know how to get good penetration. 104 caps and 8 goals. Was there ever a point when Chiellini had hair? I don't remember it. All right. 
Nine days. Germany at home is the first fucking game, obviously. Be immediately hashtag wreck out. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer sends his sympathies. <laughs> oh dear. So how did everyone do on the fantasy football today? Luckily, I chose the other Turkish centre-half. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, 26-man squad. All right, 30. Crap. All right, let's get the 30 out. Oh, no, 30 players are selected, so I need to get rid of... I need to get rid of four players. All right, well... El Sharawi, you're gone. One. I'll keep Insignia. You can play up front, can't you? Yes. Politano. Yeah, you can go. Two. Berardi. No, we aren't. we're using wingers. Three. And... I chose Sariaku. So young, sorry, sorry, Yonku. Yeah, Juventus player and a dodgy goal in the, against the Italians. Yep, didn't see that happening. Esposito. I need to get rid of one more. Oh, you can go or Pellegrini. No, you can go. Or Cellini. Yeah, we're not doing wingers. All right, so that should be 26. Confirm 26 man squad. One final check. It looks pretty good. Oh, shit. Galini. Nine days and three weeks. You're out. He's out. We need a goalkeeper. Uh, right. Sirigu. Good old safe hands. Are you big matches? I'm sure you are. Yes, absolutely. Is that Thrive as well? Oh, no. Relish. Mm, nice bit of relish. Kragno. I mean, he's third on the list. Big matches and consistent. Played all year. Three man of the matches as a goalkeeper. But, you know, Calgary, so it's going to happen. All right, well, he's not going to play. He's up there then. All right. Well, there we go. Bump. All right. Cool. Ugh, fuck. We get battered in this game, aren't we? <laughs> we get absolutely battered on our first game. Not even able to speak the language. Going to be a big problem. All right. Spinoza dropped. What? I don't remember doing this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Fuck. Oh, well, we got Pellegrini. Wrecked by Werner. Perhaps. Perhaps, mate. Perhaps. predictions in the chat actually don are you here do you want to do uh any admins want to do one of those prediction things i can't really do that and stream and be as entertaining as i am and attractive as i am it's italy duty begins all right choose italy captain chiellini yeah chiellini and immobile is appointed vice captain Benucci to me if you honestly Benucci. Chiellini and Benucci. Not, not even. I think you can win the Euros with Italy, Stevie. I also agree. 
watching the BBC's coverage, I stopped, stopped my VPN on and started watching BBC for the first time in five years. So I started listening to the BBC, and Jermaine Jenness needs to be shot, by the way. He's awful. <laughs> he's absolutely, I say shot, I meant fired out of a cannon. <laughs> he just, he's awful. But listening to all the BBC pundits saying, oh, Italy are dark horses. Are you kidding me? They've not lost in 27 games. Dark horses. <laughs> God. 27 games unbeaten. Yeah, they might have a chance. <clears throat> Outrageous. All right. Uh, attend press conference. Yes. Hello. Hi. Uh, Emil Alder, featured in the past earlier as you. Are you confident that Alder... Yep. Yep. Your decision to omit Spinoza from English goals puzzled many. Does there any future to the team? Yep. Never rule anyone out. I'm confident the players selected the squad have what it takes. That was it. Just three questions. Thank you. Must answer me these questions. Three. I think I went for Italy to win it. I can't remember what I did in this good. Danny Murphy's one of the worst. Yeah, who's the worst commentator? Robbie Savage is right up there. Robbie Savage is right up there. Danny Murphy is also right up there. Hey, I had to listen to Schweinsteiger jizzing all over it and how they are a dark horse. What is the what is the agenda? Have they all the pundits got together, put a mortgage on Italy winning, and then now are in the odds down? Alan Shearer, fucking hell. What does he know about winning the trophy? Nothing. Nothing. I think Robbie Savage won more trophies than Alan Shearer, right? Didn't he win a League Cup? Hmm. <sighs> right. Anyway. Steve McManaman. Owen Hargreaves, yeah. Owen Hargreaves. He's like... Yeah. Owen Hargreaves needs a... Well... He's, he's all right to look at with his curly hair. He's all right. But, you know, not the best. Not the best. All right. Well, it's a warm-up. It's against Germany. I'm going to retreat slightly. Alan Shearer won the Premier League. Oh, valid point. First Premier League doesn't really count. <laughs> doesn't really count. Let's be honest. It does count. Right, one, two. Okay, two cautious. One, two, three. I know you're not quite used to all of this, you lot, and we haven't got much time to use it, but. Everyone's knackered. How long? Wait, okay, how long do we have to rest? Oh, I've got England in a friendly after that. All right, at least it's difficult friendlies. I'm okay with that. Oh, shit. I thought I fixed it. I fixed this. All right. Got England friendly. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well, I think I did the same last night as well, didn't I? I was like, oh, first friendly, and then, oh. New Italy star, thanks for reckoning this. Luca, thank you. Uh, favorite personnel? Yep. That's right. Here's Luca. Yeah, I think, yeah, I did. I thought at the time, I don't need to press confirm, do I? <laughs> it's been so long. I haven't played FM for a while until like, like, two or three weeks ago when I suddenly got the pang when it was never off the system. All right, England. What's this? Argentina challenged. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Shank. All right. Okay, even the goat can make the odd mishap. No, no, it's not a mistake. Everything happened exactly how I allowed it to happen. Precisely as I meant it. 
Italy squad numbers. Very important, these squad numbers. Wait, um... Wait, is it France that only allow goalkeepers to have three specific numbers? And is one of them 16? Or did I just make that up? No, reckonist, Antichrist. Reckonist. I reckon. Ist. All right, team selection for England. Yep, that's fine by me. No, he wants to swap those two around. He wants Insignia there. Fair enough. I'll consider that. All right, we're going to play England. This is going to be interesting. England OP as feck in these uh, Football Manager International tournaments. I think we all know this. 116.25, okay. Italy, 116.25. Well, why is Donnarumma 99 or whatever it is? All right. Team selection versus England. Yes, yes, yes. Unpicked positions. Okay, fine. Uh, Kragno made the cut after we cut him in. Fine. Uh, last five games. Calabria. What did I do instead of that? Lorenzo? Calabria on the left. Luca Pellegrini. No, Pellegrini gets on. Okay, Belotti has absolutely no familiarity at all doing anything but being a battering ram. Slightly more. Lorenzo, what are you good at in a support duty? Deep lying. That's handy. False nine. Less so for us. But you are quick enough. What's your team play? 13. Oh. False nine it is then. Take advantage of your speed. It's very defensive. But luckily, Immobile is not bad up front on his own. He knows his shit. All right, are we at home or... Oh, we're at Wembley. We're at Wembley. All right, off we go. Uh, three players lack tactical familiarity. That's only three. That's including the subs. So that's really good. Really good. <laughs> wow, okay. We're already stronger than I thought we'd be. Uh, add opposition instruction for Harry Kane. Go hard when tackling. Do it. Also, why isn't that happening automatically. All right, hands on hips. Uh, over to you. Tactics. Opposition. Ask assistant. That should be automatic. I have to go back into staff. Grealish, Rice, Henderson, Maguire, Tamori. They got... Milan got a bargain, didn't he? Saka at uh, right back. Uh, sorry, left back. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to pick on you, mate. Uh, oop. Press. Chiesa, lad. Come here. This guy is not an actual left back. Muller him. And Aaron Ramsdale's in there. Closing down. Weaker foot. And... Leave Sterling. Harry Kane is three of you, so you should probably mark him tightly, somebody. Yeah. All right, that'll do. I don't want to get... Don't like man marking playmakers in the middle of the park because they pull you everywhere. All right. Okay, I'll just put key highlights on here and then I'll put on other ones later. So I'm uncautious still, right? Yeah. Maguire, no, no point. Usually your strikers don't have... <laughs> good, yeah. Maguire to more repairing feels too good on paper. Well, yeah. 
and good stopper cover. Beautiful. Lorenzo, go down the byline, lad. There's two guys in the box. Yeah, just Ramsdale all day. You guys are too slow getting back. Please get back faster. Get up. Oh, crap. Lorenzo used his head, but passed it directly to Grealish. Was it really worth winning that header for a uncon <laughs> an uncontrolled winning header? Was it really worth it? Sometimes it's not worth winning the header. Oh, we don't need that there. Uh, match overview. Oops. Grealish with the corner. Cleared by Benucci. Sancho. Just signed for Manchester United in this, uh, in this timeline. Pellegrini away. Insigne with his oh, little go with his little legs. Off he goes. No. And the sun shines together. Luca Pellegrini. Cross it far post. Oh, he's got half a yard. Oh, he's come in as well. Oof. Oh, shit. Look how deep Harry Kane had to go. He's on a support duty, I think. Oh, that was a terrible clearance, lad. Terrible clearance. Shit. Well, it's only a friendly. <laughs> it's only a friendly. Jack Grealish is an accomplished crosser. Yes, he is. All right, they, we've had one shot. This is very familiar. <laughs> All right, shall we open up the taps a bit? Um, yes, let's go attack. False nine, probably not good enough. Okay. I throw the water bottle. No, pump fist. No, uh, point finger. Win the second half. <laughs> yeah, they won't do that, Fraj. They won't. Yeah. Well, maybe they will, actually, this year, because there is a World Cup. Because, you know, the world... Okay, set pieces need to look at. I don't think Jorginho... Oh, I didn't even give set piece takers, did I? Crap, I didn't do that. There's Barella. Pellegrini again, all the left side, exactly like Nagelsmann. Bang. Oh, off the post! Oosh! All right. I'm going to actually... slightly change the angle of approach there. All right, 20 minutes to go. Who played crap? 6-2, Immobile. This is the story with me in Immobile. Bellotti on. 6-6 six, six for Verratti. 6-5, six, Pellegrini. 6-4 for Jorginho. Oh, dear. That didn't bode well for you, mate. 6-5, Pellegrini. Chiesa. Do you do Keen for... Yeah, Keen for Insigna. You can go pressing support. Actually, they've got no one there. Pressing striker. Yeah, they've got no defensive midfielder, so I'm not doing that. Rashi's on. Don't dive. Oh, for fuck's sake. Near post, lad. Jesus. Uh, all right. The only way you're doing an, like an international team was um, interesting is if you're doing like a let's play. God forbid I do one of them. And uh, you do it like one at a time, one match at a time. That's actually tolerable, but you're probably 
Oof. All right. You're probably not really enjoying the game as much as you could be there. Right, that's interesting. That's just a, a giant long ball. And the aging centre-backs didn't do anything about it. All right. Get a goal. Go on, Freddie Church. Off he goes. He skinned him. Inside. Oh, Walker. Where did he come from? Can he just kick it out? I've never seen that. Fucking near post Donnarumma. Pissing me off. Burrell looks like he's giving everything. It's fine. It's fine. They all need to run out. Jesus, I thought it was in. <laughs> I thought that went in then. All right. Oh, and of course, Sarko gets man of the match despite um, playing out of position, probably in an area he's never played before. Oh, he's played 12 times for Arsenal at left back. Tactical familiarity with his absolutely no familiarity whatsoever, and he gets man of the match. Football manager, everyone. Football manager. All right, well. Verratti down high. Italy must forget defeat. Hold team meeting. Despite the negative effects of the performance, the Italy squad are still in an optimistic mood. Do we even bother? Ooh, important. Okay. Uh, everyone out there knows what we're capable of winning this tournament. It's up to you now to prove them right. If we keep focused and give everything we've got, we have a trophy in a couple of weeks' time. He's right. You know we can win this tournament, lads, especially if you win headers. Uh, that's exactly what I was after. Okay, that was slight, slightly supposed to say the majority of players have been left unaffected. Yeah, majority. A couple of people got better. Team meetings are not necessarily a trap. Okay. All right. Uh, probably a good idea to have an another thing here as well. Another system, just in case. Control possession, Gagan or Tiki Taka. Let's go with control possession. 4 3 3. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No, we'll go. Halfback? Do we have one of them? No, you'll be deep line playmaker, whoever you'll be. And you'll probably be Jorginho. Yes. Oh no, you're only two and a half stars as a defensive unit. Alright, Locatelli. Um, Calabria, yeah, we're fine with that. We'll just have that as a secondary, but um, I usually like to have fluid counter-attack in a 4-3-3. I'll fucking love that formation. The only thing that that has even come out of an Italian team meeting are well-paid, are well paid self-employed models. Oh, I see what you mean. Ilbeard making the joke that prostitutes come out. Oh, I see what he's done. <laughs> mm. I see what he's made a joke for there. All right, let's us go. All right, now it's up for reals now. Switzerland, Sviceland. Can you ever improve the big matches trait? Nope. Set in stone. That's annoying. There needs to be more fantasy in that, I think. There needs to be a little bit more randomness, especially I understand the reason for not doing too many drastic changes with actual players. 
like the spotted at a nightclub thing that happened. Basically, the, somebody... <clears throat> right, how, how, how can I put this? At some... Okay, this is where it started. Somebody... Some chairman got really offended with his stats in game, which is why you can't see chairman's stats anymore. And threatened to sue, so they just block them off so no one can see them now. And... I think they preemptively, or maybe they got a report about it, that somebody, some people got annoyed that there were events in the game which implied that these players were unprofessional. Like, uh, Ashley Young was spotted coming out of a nightclub at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I think um, they've stopped that for well, real players, but for regions and stuff, they can have a lot more fantasy stuff like that happening, I think. At least. Uh, well, well, Antichrist, he might not have developed... No, 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 Antichrist. No, no, you've, what you've done there is misinterpreted. It was always there. You just didn't see it because it wasn't on his report. Trust me, I've done a lot of testing on that. A lot and lot and lot. Consistency changes. As they get more experience, you get more consistent. Um... Yeah, but Big Occasions does not move. If it does move, it's definitely a new thing. Ex Italy star demands passion. A former player. I'm going to say that's Scalacci. Pellegrini expects close game. All right. Attend press conference. Hello. Always flattering to hear someone. Vladimir Petkovic. I think so. We're both professionals. We're used to dealing with pressures like this. Yep. Uh, how important is it to start your group fixtures? Um, very important we do well in this competition. Nope, you can't change Carius to relish big matches or change his predefined maximum concentration stat. Uh, they're keen to play football. Everyone's focused on the task at hand. Okay, that was it. Good. When you take over a club initially, a lot of players won't have fully fleshed out um, stats and things like that. Uh, sorry, report cards. After playing them in big matches and stuff like that, sometimes they'll pop on saying he loves big matches. He doesn't like. Some players start with it if they're like fully established first team players. It's, it's a bit weird. I don't know exactly what the rules are, but so, they're, sometimes they're there and then sometimes they're not. But if you look in the data editors and you mess around with save game editors especially, you'll see it. You'll see all that stuff. Okay, right. Switzerland versus Italy. I think we can... positive this. Uh, right. Okay, Chiellini goes there, Bastoni, Bonucci, Di Lorenzo, Giorginio. Giorginio there, or do we go with... Yeah, he says Giorginio. Oops. Yes, Verratti. Giorginio Locatelli? Locatelli, if you ask me. What's your flair? Oh, it's 18. Yeah, well, it's going to be a problem then. Okay. Insignia, Immobile. Immobile. Do you want to do... What do you want to do, Immobile? You want to run around? Sure, you can do that. Yeah, I'm not doing Insignia. I'm going to go with Bellotti. Yeah, that's better. Lovely coverage, really. Everyone's morale's okay. Immobile is not enjoying himself, and I can't interact with him. That's a shame. All right, let's go already. Lack okay, 11 players now lack tactical familiarity with the formation. When it was three, it was the same before. Target man? No. Don't need that. Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't do it again, did I? Add our position instructions. Uh, I'll sort. Ask assistant. Do that. Right, what are we doing here? Xhaka, he's got 18 passing, but he is not composed at all. Shakiri. Noah Okafor. Ooh, Bravery 10. Crunch. Christian Fasnacht. Is that first night? Fasnacht? Sylvian Widmer. Good. Good. Sterigu. Okay. Elvedi. Good. Weak of foot for you. Remo Freuler. Jumping reach 10. Jacquard. Composure 10, concentration 8. Press him. Sow. Bravery 10. Tackle hard. Jacquard's bravery. 15. Don't tackle him hard. There's no point. All right. Um, let's go. I am less confident about this than I was about Turkey last night. So that's, uh, that's how we're rolling right now. Verratti. Oh, I didn't do set pieces either. I'm an idiot, but it doesn't matter because Immobile is in the far post because I've done set pieces. I've done the set pieces, but I've not done the takers. But luckily, I probably would have picked Verratti anyway. 1-0. 56 seconds in. Oh, he got elbowed twice as well. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Why is there a third replay? Oh, offside. Ha <laughs> ha, he's miles on, lad. I'll take it. 1-0. All right, down to balanced. Barella is furious. What, what's going on? What's going on? Aggressive. Okay, that's fine. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, calmed him down, and he seems a bit better. Okay, their XG is higher than mine after we've had one attempt. Well, that was uh, interesting. Don't get complacent. Good, chill. Um, six six. Manuel Locatelli. Not enjoying this guy here, are we? All right, little switcheroo. Little switcheroo. We've had lots of shots. What's going on here? Long shots three, blocked two. We're not had enough shots to consider changing anything just yet. We'll just keep our free kick threats. There we go. Oh, Pellegrini, lad. You were right there. Offside? No. Fuck. There we go. Oh, no. Far post. Oh, is that another corner? No, damn it. All right. Encourage shout. Oh, oh, straight into another highlight. I like. Get up. Dish. Oh, come on. That's a two footer ref. He was off the flip. He fucking slid in. He just slid. He wasn't even on the flipping screen when he started sliding. Take him on. He has done. Pellegrini. Far post cross. Zaniola! And I'll take that. Right, who needs to come off? Pellegrini. I'm going to bring on Freddy. We'll bring on Freddy for this one. And we've got one more sub, but I'll wait a little bit. Don't want to change too much. And keep it nice and comfortable. And remember to rotate. That was something I couldn't do because of how weak my Turkish squad was. Couldn't rotate anywhere near as much as I would have liked to. Anyway, let's take off one of the golden oldies. Lorenzo, uh, you have to stay on, I'm afraid. 
Let's take off Benucci or Ke let's take off Benucci. A Serbi for Benucci. What a fucking sub that is. <laughs> a Serbi comes on for Benucci. Jesus. Oh, Lorenzo's got absolutely no gas left in the tank. Bang. Oh. All right, uh, shouts, encourage, last few minutes, and uh, let's just slow it down, I bet. Full on Italian control. There we go, nice, calm, 2 0. He had one shot on target, four of them were from range. Seven in total. We have 13, seven on target, four blocked, five from the range, most of the possession. They fouled us a lot. Nine corners, one a goal from one of them. Immobile got four key passes, but didn't get on the We got man of the match. Uh, well done, good win. Nothing spectacular. I'll take it. Ten press conference. Not at all, Vladimir. Having a good chat again. No issues between us, as far as I'm concerned. Um, smile warmly. How pleased are you with that win? I saw plenty of good things, and that's particularly satisfying. That was similar. It was 50. Uh, you can safely add into the list of Italian legends like Gianluca Vialli, Cabrini, and Scri I don't know who that is. Gaetano Scheria? I don't know that one. Great achievement. Uh, I wouldn't swap him for anyone in the world, not even Song Hyung Min. <laughs> How do you feel about the use of technology? Justice was served. Excellent. Okay. Did your morale go up at all, Mr. Immobile? Because you weren't very happy earlier. Morale, morale, morale. Match sharpness, good. Where's your morale? What the hell? Where's the skin put in this morale? Uh, Prink Sprinkle Squirrel. Any particular reason for the shades? What shades? What are you on about? I have no idea what you're on about. All right. We're against, against the heroes of Turkey. Damn it. Feels dirty playing them. <laughs> what shades? Honestly, what glasses? I have no idea what you're talking about. What glasses? Don't know what you're on about. All right, sorry. All the drama's happening. All right, so nice, comfortable, a uh, nice, comfortable screw there. Nice 2-0. Uh, remains fourth in the competition rankings. Yep, I believe that. It's going to be such a shame with no Roy Hodgson anymore. Really is. The best manager Britain's ever produced. So that's a fact. That is a raff of fact. World Cups with two teams. Inter Milan. So many trophies. Just not in England. <laughs> All right, Turkey Elmaz. Right, uh, right, Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. And same starting 11. Who didn't play very well? Uh, I took off Locatelli and played. Oh, yeah, that was what we did. Zanolio. Yeah, we'll do that. 
Sorry, Zaniolo. I always do Zanolio. All right, you can go to support role if that's the case. And you can go to attack. In fact, Verati. Yeah, I'll keep that. His morale is still fair. Freddy Church, you want to come on for the Lorenzo? Taking Fulham, yep, the Fulham in their wonderful diamond. Another, another thing. Danny Murphy, Davis, Steed Malbronk, Clint Dempsey, Breed Hangeland. So many, like, average players made to go brilliant. They did brilliant that year. Absolutely no right doing as well as they did. Set piece takers, good shout, Ilbons. I totally forgot. Right, corners. Pellegrini, yes, you can take your left footed primarily. Verratti, right. Yeah, we'll just do that. Oh, it's Lorenzo. Oh, that's fine. Um, I'll put Barella in there as well. Yeah. Okay, free kicks. We got lots of 14s. Lots of 14s. Actually, let's do quick picks. Barella and Signal Pellegrini. Fine by me. Insignia 14. Did I get long throws in there? I can't remember if I did or not. Chiellini's long throws 19. What a waste. Uh... Okay. Positive. So one, two, three attackers. Good. They look like they're packing the midfield. I don't know what formation they're going to have. Oh, no, 4 2 three, one. Sure. As ask assistant. Yep, pure. Hakan, crunch him. Uh, I should know these people like the back of my hand, but I forgot. And they've got their good... Oh, yeah, their left back's going to be pretty poor, if I remember. Oh, no, that's the guy from Leon. Um, there's Mulder. Yeah, decent. But this guy's weird. Bravery 9. Yeah, crunch him. Also, there's three of you, so mark him out. All right, go. Uh, go. Go. Now it's only three players with unfamiliarity. I don't understand. Don't understand. Go out there. Carry on straight where you finished. Go. Go. Z Zaniolo should have all the space in the world because they've just there's no defensive midfielder but we don't seem to be having much of the ball it's this formation isn't it how's it going Kev Immobile is taking a knock alright Immobile is stuff attack half but he should be able to play through it I should Oh, I'll bring Insigne on. Just do it. Advance forward for advance forward. Hakan with the set piece. This is not what I want to see. Sorry, Oglu. Completely free. Fuck. Soyonku. Sorry, Oglu. Who the fuck's that? Corner. Not happy. Demand more. Attack. He's now immobile. Kev has come in with a... He's taken over Liam's job. <laughs> Kev's come in with a banger there. All right. One, two, three. We'll go attack and five. How's that effective? His movement is immobile. <laughs> All right. Two shots apiece. We've got a better XG. Block shots. We've had three block shots. So we're going to have to move it on up. Move it on up. Move it on up. <sighs> yeah. 
you need a calm down lot. Are they taking their time already? Offside? Nope. You flipping idiots. Uh. I'm just worried about all these flipping... Actually, good point. Uh, I shouldn't stay on feet. No free kicks, please. We have got great tackle in, but uh, just no free kicks. None at all. Here we go. Throw, throw, throw. Throw is just... Oh, my God. That was awful. Chiesa, lovely touch out of his feet. Drags it back. Insigne. He couldn't. He couldn't miss that. Could not miss that. Insignia. All right, we're back. Keep going. You calm down. Stay focused. Of course he's been great. It's Freddie Church. He's taking a knock and he's indicating he wants to come off. Replace him with Lorenzo. Well, I'm not saying you caused this, Kev, by saying he was good, but... All right, and 6.6 .6 for Zaniolo, actually. Yep. Oh, actually, final 20 minutes. Can we just make this work? No. Cancel. Yep. Also, I want more possession, if you don't mind, so uh, dribble less. In fact, dribble more now, though. Dribble more now, though, Pellegrini. <laughs> oh, deflection! Oh, nearly an old goal! <laughs> Square it! Oh, you absolute idiot. Oh, hang on, VAR's on it. Oh, it's a check. I don't know what that proves. Uh-oh. Pellegrini square inside. He's got caught in possession. Pellegrini is having a mare. Don't. Don't. All right, time for old-fashioned, let's run a bit more. All right, another free kick. Insignia takes it early. Ooh, go get it, go get it, go get it. Stay up, stay up. Turn, oh, all the reverse ball. Calabria, inverted wing-back mode. He's right-footed, I'm putting him on the left-hand side because I took him off. I took off Pellegrini, and if he scores this, he's going to hit on the nip. Please, the keeper is over that side. He's in terrible position. Just hit it there, please. Just there. That's all it requires. Just a quick near-post laces, that's it. I could score that. Well, that was a terrible corner. Five minutes of added time. Three, four, five. I am furious with that. <sighs> I 
Well, I've got to beat Wales. Beat Wales, guaranteed. Pretty much. How badly are you injured? Tight calf. It's M press conference. Fuck. I was hoping we could hang on till half time. It was unfortunate to come against Hakan. Yeah, it was great. Luca Pellegrini made a horrendous mistake. He'll learn from it. And if he doesn't, well, let's just say we know where his family is. I've not been impressed with the defense. All right, hang on. Who's been playing? How have you been playing for Lazio, lad? Let's just see. How have Lazio been playing? You've been playing literally exactly the same formation. All right, well. He wants me to put a Serbian as a cover. Okay. Calabria. Yeah, Pellegrini off. Jorginho. Barella. Pelle, Pellegrini. All the one. I don't think playing... One football literally called me up in the middle of an international tournament. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think playing a pressing forward is a good idea especially not when there's an attacking midfielder around so Immobile how Immobile are you full training tomorrow oh we're playing tomorrow Verratti needs to be oh he's not fit is he Okay, time for some actual real world personal instructions. Okay. Giorginio occasionally drop back and help. What about Benucci on a stopper? No, he can't get there. I mean, that's going to be Joe Allen, right? <laughs> that's going to be playing against Joe Allen. Uh, Barella, how have you done, Barella? He's done all right. Must win game here. Wait, hang on. What about that? Do you know what? I'm going to tell you what, inverted wing back for you. Um, controlled possession, Wales, uh, Gareth Bale, on that side, Lorenzo. Giorgino, you're going to have to pass pretty well. Verratti didn't make the start in 11. Yeah, apparently he's too tired for this. Bellotti up front on his own. I usually prefer a support, but you can still do that, can't you? And we'll put Insignia as an attack. All right, go. I'm happy with that. We're going to play that tomorrow, lads. I haven't done any free kicks, though, so... Control possession was what I wanted to go. I kind of shoehorned that tactic in there. It still works. It's not working very well, though, at international level.
All right, Wales versus Italy. I don't know where we are. <sighs> Predictions. I think I'll win with a clean sheet. All right, Gareth Bale, leave him alone. Oh, no, tackle him hard. Is he a bit of a coward? Braver 11, yep. Tackle him hard. He's not as quick as he used to be, so maybe we should just mark him. Ramsey attacking midfielder. What the fuck formation have they got here? Oh, hang on. Chiesa might have a good day, yeah? Bale's up front, and just spotted it. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, leave that then. If he's up front, don't need that. Daniel James, exhausted. Tight marking, are you stupid? Brooks, bit of a lightweight. Bravery seven. Tackle hard. Joe Allen. Allen and Ampadu, composure 10. Close them both down. Ampadu, as much as I love you, <laughs> that rhymes. Yeah, actually, you're not a bad playmaker. Stays back at all times, though. Don't need to press him. He's not going to go venture in. Ben Davis, good crosser, if I remember. Oh, crossing 12. Okay. Avoid using weaker foot. Well, put him on his weaker foot. Joe Roden. Composure. Balance, not very good. Chris Metham. Connor Roberts. All right. Danny Ward, what's your... Yeah, you're just an all-round sub-keeper. The strikers haven't done well. Their forwards haven't done well. That kind of implies that they're doing... Impress me. <laughs> kind of implies that they're playing defensive in general. Insignia. I basically... I've done, these are default set pieces, and it's 1-0. <laughs> <laughs> Set pieces of this game are a joke. First goal for Italy, Bastoni. That's a good run. 1 0. Yeah, I'm going to try and force it down the right flank a bit. I want Chiesa to have that ball. Daniel James is tired, and Davis is also pretty tired already. Another free kick. Have a dig. Barella lines it up. Deflected. Bellotti is there. It's the offside. Oh, referee's checking his earpiece. They're appealing for an offside. VAR. Checking. Checking. Clear offside. How close was that? Oh, is a yard off. Every Fuck, what? What the hell? Oh, it was a, I thought it was a free kick. It was a header. I thought it was straight in. Fuck. Well, that ain't good. Have hardly conceded any free kicks in promising areas, but they still managed to score with their one shot. Crystal meth. <laughs> All right, thrash arms, point finger, unlucky. Yep, unlucky. How are we doing? Seven nine seven five. Bellotti not doing anything. Do we have? Hmm. De Lorenzo's not having a good game. Lazari is on.
take the tempo up a little bit. I'd like something from actual open play. Well, they're fucking knackered, so guess what? We're going to go pump them. We're pumping them now. Is that pretty much straight swaps? It almost is. Zaniolo on... Yep, perfect. Oh, no, Jorginho. A Serbi? Hmm. Yeah, I'll do. All right. 20 minutes, we're going to switch it. Their players are fucking knackered. So, if we start playing our game, they should, they should just choke on the ball. They're just going to choke. Oh, for fuck's sake. Unless they... <sighs> Daniel James with a flipping worldy run here. Watch this. Takes Turkey to the final. Gets knocked out with Italy. Umber fucking leaveable. Yeah, why is he there? He, well, he chased him back. I think that's what happened, Flickster. That's obscene. Absolutely obscene. They had two shots on target. Both went in. Fucking FM'd. This game's shit. <laughs> no one's ever enjoyed football manager. No, I wasn't. Oh, hang on. I might be through again. Might be through one more time. Let's see. Might be through. Let's check. I have to wait. I have to wait. Might be through one more time. Oh, shit. When's the last game? Is it this one? England versus the Czech Republic. England comfortably win. Eric Dyer. They brought Eric Dyer with them. Alright, let's go back to what we know. <laughs> let's go back. Oh, save team selection. No, clear. <sighs> Spain? Fuck off. <laughs> oh, you mother... Spain. 
Spain. I think is it do they, do they play each other or do the, the the winners of the group play a weaker team as like a reward? That makes sense. At least I got a nice long rape rape break. Oh my god. Obviously, I was thinking about hemp seed. Speaking of that, wasn't Jeremy Clarkson's farm thing now on Amazon? Was it released today? I think it was. I might watch that in a bit. Quarter semis. All right. Weather reports. Fine summer's evening. At Parken, where's that? Copenhagen. The Parken. Did anyone see that Viking uh, bike safety advert? It's pretty good. All right, Jorginho. Okay, the game seems to want me to play Jorginho there. Fine. Fine. Insignia Immobile. Immobile, have you scored yet? Yes, you have. Okay. De Lorenzo, Pellegrini, no Chiesa. Barella, Chiellini, Benucci, Bastoni, good. Wanted by Liverpool. Okay, Bellotti, Chiesa, Acerbi. No, we're going to go to call it balanced. One, two, three for balanced. Good enough. We are going to go get stuck in, though. Um... I'm just going to leave the rest of it. Well, we don't have much to work with, but we're going to work with it nonetheless. <laughs> uh, Spain have won two of the last three, but we've born to our best, we can deny them here. Seem demotivated, seem motivated. Ah! Spain, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Coca. Far post. Ansu Fati. Offside. How is Ansu Fati? Donnarumma's having a mare. How is he getting to the ball first? Okay, where is he? He's there. Bonucci. Turned. He, Jesus Christ. He's, he, had to, he had the turning circle of a flipping barge. Another set piece goal. Actually, this, has anyone scored an open play against us yet? <laughs> Vitolio, fuck him. <laughs> Yeah, Vitolio, if you don't know, uh, it last or oh, two years ago now, Jesus Christ, in the World Cup, three years ago even, when I did this, first time I did this um, challenging thing, he came off the bench in extra time and scored a hat trick against me. Oh my God. Oh, lovely reverse ball. Immobile, surely. Oh, Verratti. Oh, no. <laughs> no, he could have. I should have scored that, lad. Come on. All right, we've got three guys on yellows here. All right, what's happening? 
They are passes out of defense, 84%. They are not pressing us at all. They are just sitting back. So, if they're not pressing, we could probably move even higher up. Yeah, stop getting stuck in now. Stay on your feet. And I guess we can start moving the play around a little bit more. Who played badly? No, 6-5 from Chiellini. A Serbi. Libero? He absolutely can do Libero. It's the last thing they'll be expecting. Get him right up there. Go. Oh, fuck. I didn't do a shout. Shit. De Lorenz. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take that. Lorenzo is right there. Immortality. Take it. It's yours. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, Immobile again having an absolute mare. I think it's time for Quadraglia. We've got nothing left to lose. Poacher that stuff. we got Quadron. Quadriaglia. Quag, quag, quagliarella. When the sun shines. <sighs> Steven Gerrard. We got 10 seconds. I think we can do it. This has been toothless. Toothless, lads. Toothless. You deserve all the shit you're going to get back in that fucking plane on road to ro Honestly, if I were you lads, I'd make you your own way home via Marbella or something because you're going to get so much shit. Luckily, I'm not even going to set foot in Italy because since I took over, I haven't. I don't plan to. Through ball. Through ball. Someone. Forward. Forward again. There we go. All right. All right. Oh, my God. It's one-on-one -on -one in the middle. Oh, go on, go on, go on, Quagrielalala. Do it. Near post. Penalty spot delivery now, Lorenzo. That's all it takes. Immortality. Foul! Long throw. Nope. Insane then. Don't pass it out. Go in. Oh, oh and that's it. Full time. Well, it took Spain to knock us out. What a boring game it was. They had three shots on target. We had two. This has been awful. Italy, you're embarrassing yourselves. Unlucky. Apparently, that was unlucky. It wasn't meant to be. I disagree with that. I might have to come back to this and fix it because that was awful. Absolutely awful. Awful, awful, awful. On that stream, uh, I'm going to try and hang out with some friends while I can. I, un I know you understand. What an awful fucking tournament that was. Awful. All right. Uh, small chance I'll be on tomorrow, most likely on after England on Sunday. Fucking furious with that, to be honest. Fucking furious. I'm not tell you what, I'm so furious. I'm not even going to raid. You know how these raids work. Take care of yourselves. You know what? Fuck it. I'll see you when I'm ready next time. Take care of yourself, I guess, you dicks.